Uh, my coffee of choice today, Agoria Jeans Erin Affair, is a cappuccino. Yeah, look, I watched the game last night on TV and um, I thought the boys did quite well. You know, the five at the back formation seemed to work all right again and, um, you know, we're just unlucky um, with the sending off and, and them scoring straight from the from that um, situation. I think that dented our, our hopes a little bit, but the boys put in a good performance and they can be proud of the efforts of the, of the ACL. Yeah, definitely. It's very hard to, you know, watch watch the game from home. Um, obviously, you want to play in every game possible and to watch the boys, you know, go through that and, and do well and, um, you know, just to get to, you know, get picked at just at the end there was, was pretty hard to watch. But, you know, um, we, we move forward and we look forward to Saturday now in the, in the semi-final. Yeah, look, me and Monty obviously missed the game through suspension and uh, the boys that don't travel, um, the injured boys and the boys that are still fit that haven't travelled, um, we still train. Uh, Patrick takes the sessions and um, he puts on quite a good session, even though there's only four or five players, um, you know, does a lot of work with the ball and make sure we keep uh, fit and fresh for, for this weekend. Yeah, Monty and I are going down to meet the boys in Sydney tomorrow at the hotel. They land at the airport at 6.30 um, and then they go to the hotel for a bit of a sleep and they've yeah, got lunch at 12.30 so Monty and I are, and Tommy Slater actually are required to be at the hotel before 12.30 and we'll have a meal with the boys and then training in the afternoon. I think the players are going to be very tired. Um, you know, they're obviously going to be disappointed that we didn't make the next round of the ACL. But in saying that, we're, they're going to have to move forward quickly and, and look forward to Saturday. It's going to be a massive game with a big crowd, and I'm sure the boys will just want to move on and, and get a good result on Saturday. Yeah, first of all, it's going to be a very tough game. You know, they've got the home ground advantage, and they've obviously got wonderful fans. We're going to have to have a good game plan and um, and stick out that, and hopefully, it's a good one, and we can and get the get the points and make another grand final. Yeah, obviously it was a great feeling, you know, I was actually in Australia when the grand final was on and just to, for the boys that have been there for, you know, the three previous ones, um, you know, it was a great feeling that, that they actually, you know, finally got over the line. Good feeling that, you know, I was very happy for the club that we actually won the grand final and, and got that grand final that the club deserves, um, you know, and, and now, you know, they've got a championship to their name and I'm sure there'll be more to come. Yeah, it's going to be huge, you know. Um, as you say, the fans are massive down in, in, in Wonderland, as they say. And, um, you know, I, don't, I think we've only got 1,200 tickets allocated to the Mariner supporters, but I'm sure we'll take all them up. And, you know, hopefully our supporters can make as much noise as possible um, against their fans. And, you know, it's, it's what every player wants. They want to play in big, um, big games and in front of big crowds. So I'm sure the boys will be looking forward to it. Yeah, look, it's um, it's been a, a rebuilding season for myself. Obviously, I was out of the game for 18 months, and um, I'm pretty happy with the amount of games that I've played this year. Um, you know, it took me a while to get into the starting lineup. Um, you know, first 10 to 14 weeks, I was still rebuilding my body, and you know, obviously, every striker wants more goals. So um, I'm happy with the amount of game time I've got this year, and hopefully, we can build on things next year. Thanks, mate. Cheers.